Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Star Ladder Season 9. We've got the EU portion coming up, and we've got five games ahead of us. God's joining me for game one, and then Rolini will roll out of bed and join me for the remainder. Yeah, you've got me at my worst, so I hope you're on top of your game. <laughs> <laughs> it's your first game of the day, my last game of the day. We're both going to be like... What a combination. Your peak's yet to come. I'm just at the crash, and <laughs> whew, we're in for a good one. Well, I thank you for joining me, uh, my friend. We've got no, Cloud9 no versus Ahead, first game. Any yeah. thoughts before we hop into the draft? Um, I enjoy watching Cloud9, just the way they do like unconventional lanes. They like to do these kind of off-lane dual lanes with Envy. Envy's gone from, like, ca he's still the carry player, but he plays carry in the off-lane with a support, so I think that's one of the coolest things to see with this team. And yeah. It's I've always even, fun to watch. I've seen him mid a little bit over the past few days as well. His Morphling, he's been heading yeah, in. So yeah, yeah. Very versatile team. They have been fun to watch, that's for darn sure. Let's go ahead and hop into our draft here. Cool beans. All right. So nothing too crazy so far. Cloud9 start off with their first pick visage in true Cloud9 style. The Owie 2000 hero, one of his signatures yep. that he's pretty impressive with. Oh, yeah. I think before their loss against Empire, Cloud9 were undefeated with visage in this current patch. So they were wow. like 8-0 or something, and then they picked up a loss against Empire the other day, unfortunately. But... Uh, ahead goes straight into a Morphling Dazzle, so Morphling, uh, you mentioned Envy's been playing quite a bit of it, so somewhat of a deny pick, but Ahead, at the same time, it's, uh, it's not that often that Cloud9 pick it up in the first stage, so if they want to deny it, you can just ban it in that second stage. Yeah, a very good point. What are your thoughts about Morphling overall? Are you a fan, or are you a Morphling hater like myself and Ben? Oh, man, I'm... I feel like you've, you've kind of suggested I have to hate on the hero no, now. No, you don't have to. We can disagree, <laughs> but I'm, I'm no, just he's, curious. If... He's good. He's a, very, he's a very viable hero, just situational, which is where I don't like seeing him as a first pick. Yeah, and it is pretty rare, though. I think some carries are much more versatile, so you see him first pick. Like, I see, like, a Doom or a Lifestealer picked up very early in the draft. I think, yeah, it's okay, because that can fit into any draft. But Morphling... I sometimes worry about when he's picked up this early on. Yeah, and one of the good things about Morphling is that he is rather rather mobile compared to a lot of carries. With Waveform, once he gets Replicate up, he can be yep. a little bit harder to gank than a lot of your traditional hard carries. So it is one thing he brings to the table, but wow, these teams not wasting any time with the third and fourth bands. Cloud9 were punished a little bit here. You see they don't have much bonus time. They were a little bit late uh, okay. getting to the game this morning. And uh, actually, Ahead does have a stand-in, which, of course, I uh, did not pop up on this overlay. Who are they missing? We've got Sima. Um, it is Undershock that we're missing. Okay. And there will be a stand-in named Ame. Uh, Ami. Right. Not sure who he is. Yeah. The rest of the guys played in the last style ladder, though, so I recognize uh, them for the most part. I remember Obi-Wan, Sima. Sima is quite a, a solid player. RZQ and Judo. So, this is a team with some potential, but uh, they're obviously going up against a big name in Cloud9. Cloud9, they get their wish. This is like they do this Mirana Visage lane where Sing plays safe lane Mirana. You put your Visage uh, on AUI 2000. He's kind of supporting the safe lane. I say kind of because he kind of just farms the jungle. Like he does, he's not really supporting. He's just there to get farm while letting Sing get farm. And then you do this Pilot Eye Wisp plus Envy. Whatever hero, Gyro, Luna. They did Storm Spirit the other day. Mm -hmm. They did a Wisp Storm Spirit offlane, and it worked out fantastic. Yeah, that's one of the things that's interesting about Cl Cloud9 is you see them pick Wisp, and you instantly think, okay, what is that classic combo? Is it going to be an Ursa? Will it be a Tiny? Will it be something like a CK? And they don't really do anything quite that crafty, quite that predictable. They like to just throw in Wisp with whichever carry they're comfortable with in that game, which is a nice little change of pace. Let's see what they... More interesting what, as far as what they look to get for the mid lane, which may be more Bone Seven Zero. He's not traditionally their, off, their mid laner, but when they go for these kind of drafts, it sometimes puts him in mid lane. Do Maybe you send the, the Sing Sing Marana mid, depending on what kind of a matchup they expect him to get there, though. And Disruptor oh. will be the fourth pick for a head. Another right. support that I'm quite fond of. Dazzle and, Surru and Disruptor, too. My favorite supports on this patch, actually. Disruptor and Dazzle? Yeah. Together or just like in general? Well, just in general, but together, it, it's uh, it's a little bit lackluster yeah. together, actually. Generally, I'd like to see at least one support have a true hard disable. You know, Ten Visage seconds. has familiar stuns. Yeah. And with these two supports, Disruptor brings a lot of utility, Five a lot of tempo remaining. control, but he still doesn't have a, a true disable. He's got some silence, kinetic field, Radiant and some very unique abilities. Bad. And Dazzle, albeit very powerful in some ways, he does lack the hard crowd controls. Poison touch, hard press to really label that a stun. Yes, and uh, looking at their like their core heroes, they've got the Batrider Lasso, but apart from that, they haven't got the best Ten overall lockdown. Remaining. So, mm, be interesting to see exactly how they look to to Five to make these two supports remaining. fit into this lineup. I do like the disruptor against the IO always, uh, just glimpse being able to use when he relocates in, just being able to glimpse someone back. But 
At the same time, they're not really Cloudline aren't really looking to use like a traditional with CK ganking kind of combo. Like so that's where it's like, well, sure you've got a glyph to send someone some someone back, but the way Pilotide plays Wisp is he's not using that relocate to right. get go for these aggressive ganks. Yeah, and Disruptor isn't too bad against Puck and Mirana, two heroes that Ten have positioning tools, remain. so anyone that can traverse a rather large area in a short amount of time you know, doesn't fare remain. quite as well against Disruptor as some others, you know, someone like Visage or what have you. Uh, ahead, we'll go ahead and ban off the Dying Storm Spirit, so that's the position one storm that you were mentioning. Uh, I think it's pretty safe to assume Puck will be their solo mid hero, though I suppose he could also go in the off lane uh, if Cloud9 want to switch it up a little bit. Okay. Well. We'll see Cloud9, one more ban. What do they want to get here? Okay, they the OD, D interesting. Yeah, I think maybe predicting them just morphing to be in the safe lane and no mid hero there. And also just an annoying hero in general for a Puck to, or anyone to match up against mid. Especially Puck, though. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, as far as Wisp partners go, I Envy doesn't really play your CK tiny type heroes. It's, it's yeah. more likely to be your, your Gyro, your Luna... Luna um, is still available, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. I had ban out the Centaur. Um, oh, they go Slack. Over what could have been a Dyer Luna. But I like the Slack pick. I think it's there's a lot of squishy heroes on the other side of the map. Mm -hmm. um, and not uh, Puck's, if you can get the Blink Silence before he pops a Dark Pack, can be quite good at killing him. But yeah, in general, Slack should fit in pretty pretty nicely to this lineup of a heads. Yeah, and oh, oh, Ranger. will was, be the Dro. Ah, uh, the Envy Dro. This, I think it's going to be Wisp. Drow in the off lane. Well, I'd say I, uh, that just seems to be how Cloud9 generally lane things, but maybe they look to do something a bit different here with a, a slightly harder carry in the Drow, but I don't know. I always, I always enjoy watching Cloud9 because they're just so creative with their lanes. And, mm -hmm. and what do you think about Drow right now in general? Do you think she's fairly strong? Is better, mm. Stronger or weaker than Morphling? Weaker. Weaker? Okay. Yes, but it's well I, I don't i don't think you can just like compare her and say one's better than the other i think there's more situations where morphling is a good hero than dro is a good hero I if that makes sense that. yeah that, that's how i would word that yeah so i think morphling is more viable i don't think it's yeah. so like it's not like a, this hero is better than the other yeah well it's yeah. all about what kind of fits within most drafts which is generally yeah. morphling dro seems a little bit more hit or miss i think the biggest problem is her ultimate is just yeah. so easy to you get in melee range useless. you just yeah. hop like especially with someone like a slark you just yep. bounce on top of her and then what does she do she can try and silence you back and use yep. that new positioning tool but other than that she pretty much just has to stand her ground so a lot I, of dro's go for this like they don't really get too many points in well like the i guess well i guess the ulti is kind of irrelevant but like the aura they, they've been going more kind of frost arrow stats one in the one point in the gust is what Arteezy likes to do. So. Yeah, just get that value point um, in the positioning. It's often a very stats heavy draw build that at least Arteezy likes to go for. And it's not a bad way to do it. She's certainly a rather squishy hero, less than five hundred starting hit points. The precision aura usually just synergizes well with pushing strats more than anything else. Yes. So. And they've got five range heroes here. Like these heroes yeah. will all quite strongly benefit from the one point in precision aura maybe early on I, it, it, it only you only get six percent extra with each one so you almost just get that one value point your whole team gets plus five to ten damage in the early game and later on you get some more points so yeah it, it's definitely a much more um effective ability if you have yes. a gen or someone like a lichen someone that has some creeps that you can use to flash push down towers yeah so we will resume after that initial pause it will actually be a bone seven uh, Puck here, so he will be in the off lane. It looks like Sing Sing on the Marana, so he'll probably be solo mid, as Sing Sing tends to do. Pylai Dai will be on the Wisp, and then up top here, we've got Eternal Envy on the Drow Ranger, and, uh, of course, Aoi 2000 playing on his Visage. Yep. Certainly no surprise about that. As for the Radiant side, it's going to be Team Ahead Gaming. We've got Sima the Slayer playing the off lane Batrider. We've got the Stand-In Amei playing the solo mid Slark. We're going to see Judo on the Morphling. We've got Obi-Wan Banan playing the Disruptor, and then finally, that leaves Azik on the Dazzle. Yes, so. indeed, and it looks like they'll be going for a safe lane, try lane, and protecting that morphling yeah. with their two supports. Um, yeah, for, for ahead, absolutely. For Cloud9, they're going to go with this Wisp offlane dual lane, but not with Envy here. It's going to be with Sing here, so it looks like a Wisp Mirana dual lane, and yes. they can still get a decent amount out of this lane. They've got to just play this passively and just prioritize last hitting, and with an early point in Drower, they get some decent, I mean, just plus five damage for two heroes. In the offlane is a pretty big deal as far as helping them last hit and deny. So, yeah. So uh, again, Cloud Nine switching it up. Okay, it looks like we're back at least for now. Let's see if we can reconnect. Okay. 
do apologize, guys. Hopefully everything gets sorted out quickly. We are getting ourselves underway. Our first game of five, as you said, for Europe. So yep. First game. Let's see. What We've got we some good games today. I remember last night we were looking at it and like, eh, it didn't initially look like it was going to be that big a day, but there's like Sigma vs. Empire. Yeah. Um, and there's one other really big match, I think, as well. Virtus Pro Fanatic Ooh. is the second one coming up. That Morphin getting awfully low to the, the win. game. Yeah, we missed the first blood while we were disconnected here, and it was on. Marana did pick it up. And they, they actually killed, killed the, the dazzle. dazzle here in this. Uh, that's a dual lane killing a tri lane. Yeah. That's that's wow. where the the drawer comes into play. He's got the one early point in the precision aura. They get all this bonus damage, and you hit an arrow, you can get those kills. Yeah. Well. Sorry. Um. So, yeah, you're right. I wonder if someone roamed down. No, I can't imagine anybody did because there's still two supports positioned up top. Uh, kind of hard to say how they were able to do that. Let's look at look at uh, if we look at assists, maybe we can see. No, it looks like it was just a, Wist, yeah. a twofer, so maybe yep. Sing Sing just hit a long-range arrow, and I guess that's sort of all we can assume. In the mid lane, though, Bone 7's in some trouble. Slark looking no! to finish the kill, Damn. and he'll grab it. And now Slark, he might actually fall to the tower here. He does, so it at least... Doesn't matter, worth it. for one, yeah. but yeah, still a worth it. He gets XP, he gets the, no. the kill there, um, and yeah, think, uh, that's totally worth it. Yeah. Well, Bone 7 will be struggling a little bit. He's 9-2 and two in last hit. Slark is 3-0, and oh, so actually some much needed recovery for the Slark as he ports back to the mid lane as well. And Bone 7, does he have a bottle up? Yes, he does. It's coming on the courier now. He does hop forward, but the pounce does not leash, and yeah. Bone 7 will be just fine. Ooh. And Oh, Jesus. Meanwhile, mid lane, they get another kill. This dual lane's just doing some work here, and this is what happens when you've got one support off doing pulls, and... Cloud9 get a pretty good idea that he's there, so they're like, okay, we're gonna short for a short time. They get a two v two, then they just go in and punish it. And yep. Sing Sing just beast on that Mirana. He plays this hero more than anyone. And yeah, definitely uh, safe to say his signature hero. And he's doing pretty well in the offline, not only picking up kills, but his farm isn't too shabby. Seven and three against the six and two Morphling, which is opening up a lot of space for Eternal Envy up top. He is the big last hit leader, sixteen and one. Though Bat Rider not doing too bad himself either. Simi the yep. Slayer is uh, number three on the charts. Yeah, well, it's, it's got to worry for a head when you're safe lane trialing giving up this many kills, and that's a bit of a worry when you've got, yeah, the Dro Ranger free farming wave, you've got Visage, who's just getting his levels and experience, and one of the, a nice little synergy with, with this draft, if you've got Visage plus Dro Ranger, the Visage familiars benefit a lot when you actually cast that precision aura. You can cast it for 30 seconds, and it gives them the bonus damage from the, the Drow aura, mm -hmm. which is really scary for pushing as well as yeah. getting kills. Like, that's, they, they do a lot of bonus damage. Yeah, especially because they attack really fast with reasonably small instances, yep. so that damage buff is particularly potent on those units. Ahead, we'll go ahead and uh, switch things up a little bit here. Their tri lane has been pretty unsuccessful, and now I'm kind of hard pressed to call it a tri lane as Disruptor's been roaming around, spending very little time in the lane. Judo is, well, he's starting to recover in last hits a little bit. He's now out farming Sing Sing, but he's already taken. Actually, no, he hasn't taken a spill yet. Both of his supports have been the two to fall. Obi-Wan Banan will grab the 4-minute rune. It is an invisibility at the bottom position. Pylai die and Singh looking to make a contest, but they won't get there in time. No. No, they're going to be really happy with how this... I feel like you can't even call it the offlane anymore, because there's this, this implication that that means <laughs> the lane is harder than like the, the, the safe lane or your close lane, whatever it may be called. And that's just not even true with the way Cloud9 plays it. They make this lane look like it's the easier place to go farm. Right. Well, it is a little bit easier than it used to be in uh, recent past changes, 6.79 in particular, but uh oh, they could be in a little bit of trouble here. Disruptor yep. is invisible. He will reveal it, and Judo actually taking a lot of damage from that Star Storm. It is level 2 as Sing Sing is yeah. sitting level 4 right now, and they will be able to repel the Wisp Spear. It's actually doing some damage here as well. There's the waveform forward. Sing Sing will overcommit, and he pays for it. Now they'll continue to pursue on the Wisp. Pylai die in big trouble. Will he have enough to survive? It looks like it, but perhaps not. I think that poison will be enough to tick him down. Yeah. Oh, just that last tick there. And that's a double kill for the Dazzle. Sing Sing had the leap there. He was just trying to be too cute, held onto it for such a long time, and paid the price. He's going to TP instantly, Arrow. Oh, it's going to land. RZQ at the bottom lane. There's a leap in from Sing. Gets a Starfall. Gets a kill, there Sing Sing. There you go. Nice recovery right there. Well... I mean, you say recovery, but he was not he was not looking or expecting that arrow to land. That's like a, when you TP to the tower, you still have the fountain region, so you can throw an arrow for free, and like right. you get your mana back. That was just like a, oh, I'll just see what happens with this arrow. He was not expecting it to land, though. And they're actually going to dive Judo down here. This Morphling yeah. is going to be in a little bit of trouble. No support inbound. He will waveform into the tower. Another arrow does connect on Dazzle. He takes quite a few <laughs> of those Wisp Spirits That's as well. That's a really, really grave. Yeah. 
They force out the grave, and as Dazzle comes back to lane, he has no regen, only one mana potion. So he's... Yeah. Uh, actually, well, he's, he's already used one. I'm sorry, he had two. But, um, wow. The aggression coming out from this quote-unquote offline. There you go, another kill on Morphling as Sing Sing hops forward. Arrow connects on Dazzle. He's got no grave. He'll be stunned anyhow. This is just a massacre. They are destroying 2v3. Obi-Wan Banan will port in, but... He it, said two. It might triple cost kill. him. Yeah, they're going to dive this slow. tower. Oh my god, this Easy. is just disgusting. Wisp takes his triple <laughs> kill. Not that it matters. Probably good to not give Sing Sing too big of a kill streak because it's more gold when he dies. And more TP's back in, but this time there's a Slark here. He's going to look to take out the Wisp. And I think Sing Sing is just going to say, you're on your own, but Pilot Die gets out. He'll He's got a tether. Yeah, and Sing, he does Leap have a leap available. Up. Just needs to wait for the tether to break. Bone 7 now coming in. He'll clean up the Morphling. Dream Coil comes oh out. My that finishes god. off the Slark as well. That is just sick play from Cloud9. Utter disaster for a head. That was just Ooh. so good. They're they're playing some amazing Dota right now, and well, this is without MV getting without MV or AUI getting involved. These two heroes have sat top. They're just playing three v four Dota at bottom lane. That is insane, and they've done a lot of damage at this top tier one tower as well. Bat Rider's been farming. Okay, he is just about to hit level six halfway through five. Uh, Tranquil boots up and saving up for that blink though. Not too close. This tower will fall pretty soon here though, as Bat Rider is rotating into the jungle to finish farming up that blink. Alrighty, yeah, that blink is... Normally you want to be looking to get that around the 9-10 minute mark as a bat rider. Even in the off lane with the jungle stacks, but his supports just haven't had time to to stack the jungle because they've been so preoccupied dealing with this dual lane. They've been busy getting killed by this dual yeah. lane, I mean. <laughs> well, well, wards go down and well, they're not going to go looking for the bat rider just yet. Actually, yeah. it. Oh, connects onto Disruptor, the grave comes out and that'll buy him some time, but now they just turn onto yeah. the Dazzle. I mean, he is so squishy right now relative to this Mirana. Sing Sing will right click him they down. They can get this Disruptor, they've still got the Wisp Spirits, like just scout him out, yeah. Chuck him on long range, he TP's out, I think they were actually played a bit too safe there. Yeah, Morphling will wave for him into the trees, he'll TP's port out as well. home. Not wow. even like to your to top lane or your mid lane or your tier 2, he goes all the way home. Now they have to walk back to lane, that's an... That's almost better than killing him to some degree, that's a huge time waster. Game, game was good Andrew, game was good. Game was good, <laughs> yeah. Then, then it was one, <laughs> yeah. I this is just going horrifically for for a head and I you know I expected this to be somewhat one sided but not quite like this seventy five hundred gold and experience lead here at the eight minute mark yeah looks like we are gonna see a quick game one here gods is there I mean I don't envy's got his minus going they're I, just looking yeah. sweet man is there anything a head can do here to turn this around or is um, it too little too late at this point. You've got to just saying, look look for pickoffs. This is where they've got to group up, go for pickoffs. They're trying to do so top. They've got three here looking for Envy. AUI can't really do much. He's just kind of leaving Envy on his own, and unfortunately, the lasso, <laughs> the lasso does land. Oh god! If they don't get the lasso, there he almost lives. To be honest, but yeah. poor Envy. He'll get left behind. But they finish off the tower. Envy didn't get the last hit, but still two to nil in total tower count. Meanwhile, down bottom, <laughs> bottom. they're just gonna dive this tier two. Judo's in trouble. He's only level four. Sing Sing is almost level nine. Wisp yeah. is level eight as well. Morphling just can't stay in lane right now. He's the second lowest in the game in terms of experience. He's on par with the Disruptor right now. Yep. Morphling just being forced con continuously out of this lane. He's more so much to agility. Like, what do you what do you need all this agility for? You're not actually right-clicking or last hitting. He just needs to be able to stay alive longer, which is where yeah. I'm surprised to see him sitting on sub-600 HP with this morph. Yeah, I'm definitely um, right. Bone 7 gets invis, so he can now look to rotate to some of these Radiant's other lanes. Yeah. Rune Control has also been something else going the way of Cloud9. He had a haste rune right before he picked up that invisibility. So uh, Cloud9 have been doing rather well on that front. Bone 7 just moving around the jungle, looking perhaps for a pickoff. He sees Bat Rider clearing out some stacks here. Bat is very close to the blink now. It's about 1,900 in savings. Mm. And grabbed a little lag spike Dude. there. but That's, oh, that's why you don't sit on less than 600 HP. Yeah. Hey. I mean, Puck can just, just solo kill him from full HP. Yeah. Like, you all be silence, and then he's... I mean, he had to use the coil as well for the extra burst damage more than anything, but, yeah, that was that was just too easy for Puck. You, yeah. you need to be seeing around, like, the 800 HP market in a game like this. Yep. RZ comes in. It looks like he was considering a deny there, but he doesn't poke forward enough. Yeah, not much this Dazzle can do. Meanwhile, uh, Visage just farming up in the top lane. He does have his Medallion of Courage complete. And what's Eternal Envy been up to? Well, he just went Midas. He's resorted to farming in the jungle. You don't need me, guys. I'm just going to go rice for a little bit. Wow. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> why, why the hell not? A very good yeah. point. Bone 7, he's about to grab his blink as well. A very timely blink on this puck who already has power treads. This, this bat's getting like solo killed top by AUI. Yeah. He just grave, grave chill, 
right click with the familiars and then one soul or something. He's going to get double kill here. Obi Wan gets graved up. Okay, AUI is a bit over his head, but the familiars may finish him off. Yeah, He's still. right clicking a bit too early, but not, not going to matter. Yep, there you go. Still, one that was a two. two for one, and it yeah. pulled four heroes of a head up to the top lane, That's opening up some room for Sing Sing to do some damage bottom. And, well, he pushes back the Morphling. Yeah. Sing Sing don't need no space. He'll take on five heroes if he has to, <laughs> as we've seen. Oh, AUI lost the familiar top. Yep. And now Slark is stuck in the trees, at least until that cooldown comes up. Not worth it to grab that 100 gold bounty. But that rotation will open up space in the mid lane, and that will be another easy tower kill for Cloud9. As Eternal Envy finishes it off, it is 4 to nil in total tower count now. The only yep. tier 2 down is down here in the bottom lane. Alrighty, well... As things stand, like, <laughs> things got 3.5k. I, I just don't know what these items Bad right. Oh man. <laughs> he just gets obliterated by the puck. He's pretty close to his blink, but... These item pickups for Cloud9, they're gonna come soon, and just gonna be crushing. Like. I mean, we're at that point now where all five members of Cloud9 are at the top of the net worth yep. chart. And that's Dro, Mask of Madness. This is not even a troll item. Mask of Madness, solid item to get on Dro, especially in a game like this when you're just snowballing. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'd love to see Sing even pick up something like an Ethereal Blade. Just start shotgunning people on the map. You shotgun, <laughs> you arrow, you shotgun, star leap, starfall. Like, a shotgun this early on would just destroy as well. Give that Morphling a taste of his own medicine. Yeah. How do you like the shotgun? I'm a fan. I, I, honestly, it's wishful thinking, but it's... <laughs> if this was me playing, I'd get a shotgun. Like, you're this far ahead. Yeah. Sing Sing wants to throw an arrow here. Cancel casting. We'll throw it just barely off the mark from the Batrider. They know rider. he's there now, because of the direction it came from. Yeah, they will go ahead and burn their Moonlight Shadow. They force this Morphling to waveform defensively. And they'll just take lane control in the bottom lane. Looks like they want to rotate double towards the mid. Damage. Oh, double damage throw. It's just going to go solo Roche, actually. So, Meanwhile, mid lane, though, there may be going to be a fight here. With Spirits doing some damage to Dazzle. Morphling, he'll try to go blow for blow with Sing Sing. That's not going to work out too well. But now Sing is in some trouble. He'll get glimpsed back. Doesn't have enough mana for a leap. And will also get caught inside oh, the lasso. What a relocate from the Wisp. He doesn't take him back to the well. Just pulls him to the side to break the lasso. And now they can continue reinitiating. Putt coming in. There's a big waning rift. Orb. Slark trying to finish off Sing Sing. He'll go ahead and burn the ultimate, the leap away. Sing might actually be able to survive this. Puck will be yeah. burn the Dream Coil to keep Potom alive. And we'll turn it around. Meanwhile, oh, Sing. Oh, Sing Sing. He'll suicide he got Slark. too greedy. Yeah, a little bit too cheeky there. But don't worry, Eternal Envy soloed Roche. He's now ready to join the party. He's also level 11. He's hitting fast. He's hitting hard. And oh, by the way, Aoi 2000 pressuring that top, two ta top tier 2 tower. So yeah, they find a double kill on the Wisp and Smirana, but... Hard to say that that was a cost-effective no. exchange. Not by any means. <laughs> like you say, a draw Ranger may be ready to take part in these fights, but in some way he is always taking part in, parts in fights by giving them all the bonus damage from his precision aura, which is actually level four. decent amount. Yeah, I'm wondering, what, 30, 36% of his agility? Yeah. Oh, Not bad. Shoot oh yeah. That's... <laughs> it's just so much damage. You're right. He needs to be mm. tanked up a little bit. Right? He I, just has no items at this point, I mean... But, yeah, as a Morphling, you, you you have the luxury of tanking up even when you can't buy items because of your third skill, but right. he's he's just not going that route. We're going to see Batrider maybe... Get, he's going to Blink Dagger Seema. Oh. He's oh. going to try to pour it out instead panic. of Blink. That's a panic if I've ever seen one. Yeah, the orb will be off the mark, but it doesn't matter. Seema he was just, just trying right to clicked. TP top, like, not because he saw the hero. And I think he, I think he must have meant to click Blink. That's yeah. what it was. He saw the puck and thought, shit, I gotta blink away, but he, he was the wrong hockey. Yeah, there's a silence on the Slark. He won't even be able to ultimate. Bone 7 hops yeah. forward. Our Zeke in big trouble. Only Obi Wan Banan. GG. This is. It'll well. be called any second now. Yeah, I, I, I'd be surprised if it's not. Like I, At this point, Cloud9 go high ground. You've got an Aegis Draw Ranger. You've got the Precision Aura maxed out. You've got the Familiars to give extra damage. Like This, this high ground push should definitely be possible, but. Looks like the game will continue on, but for just a moment there's, here, yeah. there's no way back in. This game is as good as done for. N not worth sugarcoating, <laughs> Andrew. Yeah. Ben and I always like to say that uh, the sign that a game is over is when you've passed that uh, 1,000 XP slash gold per minute mark, and Cloud9 have done that in flying colors here. Oh. 20,000 gold lead in only 15 minutes. That Jeez. is... I, I think that is the definition of insurmountable. <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Cloud9 impressive just played indeed. great Dota. I mean, ahead... They, it, I, I don't want to take a, say anything bad about these guys. They, I don't think they played that badly, but they just didn't achieve much. Like they didn't play well. Like they didn't have much purpose with their draft. They didn't have much purpose with their movements. But their actual laning and stuff was okayish, apart from the bottom lane where they just gave Miranda too many kills. But the most thing is just Cloud Nine just showing off right now. Like they, yeah. these guys are just 
freaking good. And Moonlight Shadow comes out, but they put down a sentry. Aoi 2000 is in trouble, oh but oh Fuck God. Damage. God. all of the AoE damage. Aoi will fall. They'll also you lose their Wisp, but they grab four. Slark, the only one left alive. And he might actually be able to make it away. Yeah. Uh, yeah, oh. where? Thinks about turning around. He's going to pounce to the high ground. Bone 7 says, I'll come up here with you. And Familiar Suns interrupt the port. Aoi 2000, even when he's in the grave, he's still on the map. And there you go. And meanwhile, in the mid lane, they're going to break the high ground. I'm seeing when Mask of Madness. <laughs> yeah, double Mask of Madness. Really not too often you see that. He loves this item. Yeah, and Aoi actually already has his Ag Scepter up as well. So, I, you know, I can't help but feel like I had just underestimated the power of Sing Sing's Mirana. They, as he pointed out, they basically won a dual lane against three. The supports were moving yeah. around in the jungle, so most of the kills they got were in 2v2 scenarios, but it was effectively a tri-lane down bottom. And Sing Sing just nailed a couple of good arrows, picked up some momentum, and once Morphling falls behind in the lane, he does struggle a bit. That yeah. is one of the weaknesses of this hero. He needs some items to kind of come He's also line. just not that good in, like, uh, I mean, he's got killing potential because of the waveform, but, like, level one, trialing versus dual lane, is, he's just a bit average, and he's one of those heroes which the reason why teams like EG and Cloud9 run him solo mid is because he is quite level dependent. Like, when you get that shotgun up later on, you want to have your maxed out adaptive strike, which as a safe lane, like, kind of carry, you often don't have the levels with your ethereal blade. Like, you get all this farm, but if you don't have the levels there, your shotgun's not doing that much damage. Right. Aoi standing on top of a Radiant Ward. They will smoke up. They want to kill on this Visage, but I'm not so sure they'll find it. There is support inbound. Illusion Rune down bottom. Sing Sing throws Except an arrow. Dazzle. Does connect on Dazzle. Dazzle's dead. These familiars hurt. Yeah, Bat Rider blinks forward. He does grab Pylai Die. He will get picked off to start off this fight. Now Disruptor falls. Puck hopping in with the orb. Dro just laying into the Bat Rider. Slark will try and go one way. Judo the other. And it looks like they'll both get converged on. Down goes the Morphling, and Wisp actually relocates onto the Slark, and Pylai dies doing a fair bit of damage to it as well. <laughs> oh, Wisp man. will Soul have enough to finish. Not even needed. Yeah, he gets the kill, goes back home. That's <laughs> that was cute. GG there gets called. Go. There's the GG well played. 17 minutes of gameplay, 31 to 10. Cloud9 in great form today, God. Yeah, I th yeah. I'm, uh, Cloud9 just playing good Dodo right now. Um, yeah. they, they've been really consistent. They've had some close, tough games, which they've lost as of late. But even the games they lose, they still look like they have a clear strategy. Like they lost to Empire, they lost to Sigma recently as well. But right. I'd still say they they play they play well in all of those games. Like I think this is one of those teams which consistently performs well, uh, even on their even on those days where they can't quite get the wins. So yeah, that's a, that's a, a really good point and. Um Always an exciting team to watch. They didn't yeah. disappoint. Interesting statistic, though. I think the standout stat. EE -E ended that game 0-1. He got some assists, though. Yeah, 0-1-3. Yeah. But a very quiet Drill Ranger. Spent a lot of time farming by himself. In killed the Roche. He killed yeah. Roche. That's true. He got the big creep. That's he what that is. <laughs> should have gotten an assist for all 31 kills. Yeah, that aura really did make yeah. a difference. Like you pointed out with the visits familiars, towards the end, you could really see that damage. They it's, were hitting hard. It's partly why that, that dual lane in the off lane is as strong as it is, just because they not only when there's engagement, they hit a lot harder, but just mm -hmm. last hitting, like plus five damage for last hitting in a laning stage is a big difference. Yeah. Well, also, for like you most notice at solo mid, that's why you get like a null talisman first rather than a bottle rush on most heroes like Park right. Quap or whatever, but... Um, yeah, just a small bit, bit of damage boost from a Dro Aura makes a big difference. Yeah, so that was our first game of the day, guys. We've got plenty more coming up. Gods is going to go uh, hit the sack, and I think yep. we're going to go poke Merlini and see if we can get him on the stream. So plenty more Dota coming your way, guys. We've got four more matches coming up. Don't go anywhere. Star Ladder Season 9 EU resumes after this short break.